All right, so before we begin, I'm not new to the Madoka Magica universe. I, I watched the Madoka Magica anime, I watched the Rebellion movie, I read a bunch of spin-off manga, and this is my current wallpaper. What I am new is to this game, I have no idea what to expect, but let's just jump right in, huh? Or at least, that's how I wanted to start the video. But sadly, I can't. Hi everyone, this is Future Cryo, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Magia Record. So this is a turn-based game, a la Final Fantasy, and it's a game that even got an anime adaptation. To be fair, I didn't care much about the anime, I thought it was pretty rushed, poorly explained, so I thought, you know, maybe I'll try the game. And indeed, that's what I did. Except, I decided to try this game like a few weeks before now. And the funny part is that the company that supports this game since August 2017 has announced that today, September 29th, actually they postponed this to October 20th so they can have more time to release the update that turns the game into a mobile gallery. Anyway, as of today, October 20th, they will be pulling the game from the online stores and shutting down the servers. Therefore, you won't be able to download the game anymore. And even if you have downloaded the game, you won't be able to play anymore because this is an always online game. Luckily for me, I got into this game very late into its cycle, and I don't have a giant save with hundreds of hours invested into it that's going to waste. But the game has a community, dude. If you go to the Magia Record subreddit, you'll see that's alive and thriving. You'll see there's way too many people here that are gonna be left behind. Now, it's not like the game is gonna be unavailable. There is still another version of the game that you can download, only it's the Japanese version. So if you can speak Japanese, <laughs> you're fresh out of luck. This saddens me to an unbelievable extent because it's 2020, and we still haven't found a way to deal with the preservation of artistry, craftsmanship, and video games in general. I still remember to this day one video about Jim Sterling, I'll link it down in the description, in which he talks about how Konami, they don't have a drop of respect for their intellectual properties. I mean, you all remember how they pulled Silent Hill's PT from the PlayStation Store and stuff. And the most egregious example, how the Silent Hill remake or remaster, I don't remember exactly, was absolute garbage because Konami had lost the code for the original. Can you imagine that, man? Like, can you imagine pouring your heart and soul into a game? into any product actually, spending days, nights, weeks, months studying just to make it a good product, just to make it a worthwhile experience and to convey a singular message to an audience that wants your game. And then years later, your boss is like, yo, remember that thing? Yeah, we lost it. <laughs> As someone that puts their heart and soul into anything they do, let me just say that if that happened to me, I don't know, dude, I would be angry doesn't even begin to describe how we feel. Game preservation is already a neglected topic in first world countries, but this is damn near inexistent here in Brazil. Do you have any idea how far I have to go to get any game that's not high profile? Like, I live in Sao Paulo, you know? I remember wanting to get myself a copy of Split Second, one of the most underrated racing games of all time, in my opinion, and I couldn't find it, literally anywhere. I went to official stores, I went to online resellers, it was an absolute nightmare, I never got it. And yes, I know I can download it from the PSN at any moment, but what's to stop Sony from pulling the game from their store? I need a physical copy that they can touch. This is the problem of game preservation. Companies don't give a rat's ass for the preservation of hard work products. And the worst part is that console and PC games are already hard to come by. But this issue is especially awful in mobile games. Now, I know that in recent years, mobile games have been seeing a bit of a decline. And by a bit of a decline, I mean most of them are garbage. Absolutely, completely devoid of artistry. Most mobile games of recent years only care about shoving microtransactions in your face, but do any of you remember Infinity Blade? That game, man, better yet, that series of three games was an absolute masterpiece. Incredible graphics, great gameplay, a deep story, dude. I must say, you come back, hero. Can you imagine that? A mobile game with a plot Are you serious? that develops and has consequences between games. Infinity Blade's story was so rich that they actually released books on it. And where is Infinity Blade now, you ask? Nowhere. It's been deleted from the App Store. Absolutely gone like it never existed, except in everyone's memories. If one of the highest profile mobile games is not considered important to the history of video games and its contribution to the medium is not acknowledged in any way, shape or form, how are we going to evolve? How are we supposed to remember any of this? Ultimately, it's up to the consumers, the communities of people that like these games. It's their job 
to keep these games alive, their ideas alive, what they accomplished alive. Not the companies that made them, not the programmers or designers or artists that worked on them, it's up to us. And that reality saddens me, man. Saddens me to the core. I have no idea how to solve this problem, man. I don't even know if it can be solved. But fact of the matter is that this is a sad reality we live in. If your game is not Shadow of Colossus, God of War, Dark Souls, Halo, Zelda, <laughs> If your game doesn't become a mega hit, companies do not care, they just cut it off and pretend it never existed, which completely kills innovation as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, I know that this has devolved into a rant, so I decided in this video to play a bit of Magia Record to celebrate its achievements, if you want to put it that way. Like, it's not the best game ever, it's no blockbuster or mega hit, but it's still very fun and, and as far as I'm concerned, fairly well put together. That's it for the rant, enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I also almost sort of the devil. No, screw you. That's a lie. <laughs> I know that's a lie. Oh, the uh, classical animation. That's amazing, dude. <clears throat> oh boy. Okay, let me just say, I know almost nothing about this game, though I, I think. You can collect characters to use as a roster of heroes, or more accurately, heroines. So if I can just collect Homura, I'm, I'm done. What in the sh Yeah, because we all know Mommy has the best plans, huh? <laughs> so, getting started. As Souls players, we all know our priorities, right? Where's the roll button? My team will attack once to select three discs. Take my first disc, blast, charge, excel, excel, and charge. Okay, I've seen worse animation, I guess. Dude, it's still downloading data to this moment, holy crap. Okay, so let's run through this real quick. The first three are the classical Pokemon, water, fire, and grass. The second is a bit weirder, it's light and dark, because this is Dark Souls. And the last one is obviously the fan. When a magical girl's magia gauge has reached 100 MP, she can execute her magia. Oh, MP, see? Souls like. Activate her magia. Please tell me this is a time stopper. Do it, woman. Time stop special. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get over what would have pulling out military grade arsenal. It's been a while since I last played, so I got a fair bit far into the game. I even managed to get my hands on Kirika, which is a character from one of my favorite Madoka Magica spin-offs, the Oriko Magica. This right here, dude. Edgy characters, that's my stuff. Alright, we wasted enough time, let's just go. Bruh, I can have Homura. Not just Moe Mura. Final Homura. That's awesome. I don't even care about anything else, I just wanna go. Now, the story of Magia Record is about the same as the anime, and therefore I'm not really that interested in it, but arguably my favorite character from Magia Record specifically is Yachio. I don't really know how to explain why, she's just nicely designed and nicely acted. So one cool thing about this game is that to spice up the turn-based combat, you can take positioning into account. Like for instance, if I tell a character to do a blast attack on enemies that are in a single row, all the row of enemies get stacked, like this. And that's really nice. Oh, boss battle! Okay. I don't mind attack that one, I just want to see Kirika kick ass. That's what I'm talking about, so cool! You can also use charge to charge up other girls, and that makes their attacks stronger, like so. Come on, kick her ass. Nice. Keep in mind, I don't have Homura as a team member, I can just choose her from a specific pool, I think it's from people, to finish my team of 5 girls, because my, my current one only has 4. So I'm gonna get Emaojo's Humura Kemi at rank 7, that's pretty good. Yachiyu knows what she's talking about. And some weird stuff, because I have unlocked Yachiyu to use in my team, now I have this awkward moment of fighting Yachiyu with Yachiyu. So something else that's really cool, now that I have three of the same time, blast, 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 I can combine all of them for a combo, like watch. Blast combo, which makes the last attack more powerful, I think. Boo, boo. 
two seconds later. What do you mean under the rule? I just kicked your ass. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Chapter 2, Episode 1. Two best friends. Okay, just for kicks, I'm not gonna pick Homura this time. I'm gonna appease you Sayaka fans. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm one-shotting everything in this game, it's probably because the beginning is very easy. I'm assuming this gets harder and then you have to actually think about your team composition. You have a proper team build. Okay, so I'm assuming these guys are extra strong and Sayaka is already <laughs> outmatched. <laughs> Uh, being psycho is suffering, huh? Iroha is stronger, therefore I'm gonna use her to murder this guy. So, Psycho gets the next. Finished. Next battle, what would I have? Mm. <gasps> oh my lord! <laughs> okay, I need to use Ultimate Madoka. I need to see what she does. Oh my lord, look at her. I wonder what kind of damage it's gonna do. Ow! Okay. <laughs> you just see us, we didn't even get touched. Oh, come on, I want to use my Doka, for Christ's sake. Yeah, I'll have some faith here. Let's go. Slaughter them, baby. Oh, so close. Oh, the teamwork. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my god, you guys are useless. Oh my god! <coughs> Jesus Christ! Dude, I summoned an over level phantom here. Oh my lord, this is way. <laughs> this is so awesome, dude. Look at this. I love Madoka. So now I have played this game a lot more, so I need to do some corrections on my statements. There is a point to each of these chips. Blast is pure attack, charge is your support, and Excel charges your magic, though I still don't know what that does. Elements are actually incredibly influential. Having the right elemental matchup kind of means the difference between doing a huge chunk of health and having your turn nullified, which matters a lot when damage and resistances get insane in the later levels. The direction and targets of the blast attacks are not fixed. You can see what they're gonna do right here in these arrows. You cannot fill the fifth slot yourself. It's meant to be filled by another player's character. And finally, on the story, each girl has a separate set of missions that explains her backstory. And as of the time of recording, I have finished a bunch of them. And by completing just the first few missions, you unlock that girl in casual clothing. I managed to do this with the Achio too. Are you serious with me right now? Hold on a second. Are you kidding me? She made a contract when she was 12 and she's 19 now. Oh my, that's pretty rough. I feel for you, bro. So to finish this off, let's try the PvP mode, Endless Mirrors, which basically consists of you fighting other players' offline team compositions. But if I'm not mistaken, I think you can fight someone in direct PvP as long as you have their ID. Obviously, I have no friends, so I'm not gonna do that. So randos it is. So my ranking is 11 and I only managed to find a 31, a 17 and then a 13. I wonder who I'm gonna choose. Come on, let's get ourselves wrecked. Oh brother, I'm scared. This is almost an entire fire team. Uh, let me think. Okay, I'm gonna focus fire, I guess. How much damage do they do? No damage is what they do. Oh, that's a little better. Alright, finish her. Yes! <gasps> finish two of them! Good! See, that's the difference between right element and wrong element. Please don't kill anyone. Oh my lord, stop! Also, I got this girl called Ryo. And you know, Yachiu has a spear, Sun has a shield, this chick here's got a sword. But you know what Ryo has? A fucking bazooka! She has a rocket launcher, that's what she has. <laughs> Not complaining at all, I love it. I absolutely love it. Alright, given that Yachiu absolutely skewered the others, I'm just gonna assume she's gonna skewer that girl, so let's focus fire on someone else. Charge, blast, and blast. Let's see what happens. That's what I'm talking about. Good damage. Ooh, close. And ended. Oh, I'm gonna be able to do connect. Alright, watch. Like I said before, normally Kirika's attack is a dive bomb while calling everything. But now that I'm charged, look at what happens when I give Kirika a sideways attack. It, she turns the attack into a chain. It's amazing. And Ryo for the finish. There you go. 
Somehow I won. Are you kidding me, game? <laughs> okay, what's with the matchmaking in this game? I'm rank 11. Why do I get a 30 and a 90 fucking 5 as my possible matchups? What am I supposed to do against this guy? And that was my GA record for you all. I sadly like this game a whole bunch. I would play it way more if it wasn't being deleted from the store, sadly. It's like I said, game preservation is a real problem. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.